Hi everyone at NTO. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Yeah. Uh, we just want to say thank you to everyone who've uh, been keeping up with us and uh, catching up with us and asking us how things are going and everything. Um, and if you've heard our previous messages, uh, Ulrich is doing a lot better. I just want to quickly share um, our experience as to what happened and uh, yeah, it was just very sudden that um, Ulrich wasn't feeling too well. It was the first time that he like was feeling sick. He had congestion, nose congestion for a while, but then um, he got better. He got a lot better and then suddenly one week, uh, one day one, he was sneezing. Day two, he had phlegm. Day three, he started having breathing problems. And uh, we weren't doing anything differently. We couldn't figure out what it was and stuff. And it's just over during the period of the day, we just were trying to do everything, keeping him warm, giving him Vicks, everything and stuff. Um, but um, it just got worse by afternoon that we had to call the ambulance because he started crying and he was like, <gasps> he was doing that. And I was very scary as parents. I was <laughs> seeing our kid do that. and uh, But... Uh, we got to the ambulance and uh, I mean the paramedics came and they, they brought us and they, they just they could only bring one parent so Tim took the train to come and meet us at the hospital and we got there and thank god one of the paramedics was English speaking and even at the hospital they were English speaking and everything and uh, were quite um, cooperative and really friendly and uh, really appreciate that because you know when it comes to medical terms at all it's not exactly something you want to communicate in, in German about uh, especially if it's not your first language. So uh, everything went pretty well and the doctor, uh, it turned out he had rashes as well on his butt and everything, it turned out it was an allergic reaction to something. And till today we can't figure out what it was, but thank God, like the God, the doctor gave allergic uh, allergy medication um, and um, gave him an inhaler to also to clear his lungs and he was completely fine after that. She said to give it uh, regularly, you know, if, if it, it keeps having problem, but he was totally fine. He slept well that night, didn't have any issues and completely well the next day as well. So thank God that was really an eye opener. Um, but one thing we really learned or I really learned from this experience was that uh, throughout the, the days where he was not well and also uh, as he was re recovering as well, he still had a bit of phlegm, but, uh, but he it wasn't that bad. He just kept wanting me to hold him and to carry him. And it was very difficult because like every five minutes I put him down, like, you know, I put him down, five minutes later he comes back, he's like, you know, up, up, like he wants to be carried. And it's just, I couldn't get anything done. All he wanted to do was just me carrying him or me sitting with him and just, he just wanted a contact. Sometimes he even pulled my shirt down and just like, you know, rest his face or his head on it. And it made me realize how important it is, especially if it's so important for a baby or a toddler to, um, to reset, to feel better, to get better by having that skin-to-skin -skin contact, by resting with your mother. Um, you know, even as a newborn, they always have the skin-to-skin -skin contact with the parents to help them recover, help them do better, you know, whatever condition that they are in. And I realized, as Ulrich said, he himself was coming to me to rest on me, to help him feel better. And I realized how important it is that we need to go to Jesus to rest, not just to just rest and just sleep. It kind of, create this bond when we rest on Jesus, when we lay on Him. We create this bond that helps reset our body, reset our spirit, reset our soul, reset our mind. And it's just how important it is to always go back to Jesus, to rest on Him, to just, just, it's not, that's why He said, come to me, rest. You know, He didn't just say, oh, come and sleep, you know, go and sleep and go rest. No, He said, come to Him and to rest. And He would take care of us. And this time of taking care of my son just really made me realize how important it is that I need to go and sleep and rest on the Lord, not just in bed, but like, you know, rest on my Jesus and just, oh, wow. Just even just vision myself <laughs> resting on his chest, it just fills me with, it just fills me with this warm liquid, <laughs> like, like, like honey, you know, it's like, you know, just, uh, like, you know, just nourishing my body, you know, that's what it feels like. And I just... Uh, just want to share our experience, what happened, and how, uh, yeah, how well, what we learned from that situation. But yeah, so that that's our short um, uh, message, uh, our testimony to share for today. So um, as we were drawing towards the end of the year, uh, we were just thinking about um, things that we have recently been talking about and things that we uh, have just been reflecting on and. 
um, what three things that really came to mind was um, what is your motivation to do God's will? Um, what is your what is your key to getting into God's presence? Uh, and um, and thirdly, what are three ways or things that you can you can do to calm yourself or to lift your spirits when you're having a tough time? And we really uh, had a, a good discussion about this, and and really had uh, things really came out, out of this, um, yeah. and I, and, uh, and and it really encouraged us both. So I hope it encourages you. Um, and so one of the, as I was uh, reflecting about this, um, about my motivation to do God's will, a lot of it comes from, um, from my time in the core where I when I first experienced uh, the Holy Spirit for the first time. And it was, it was the freedom that I felt um, from my mind. It was the freedom from, uh, uh, that I felt from my striving and my, uh, my constant trying to, trying to do things right. I, I felt such freedom and such peace. Mm -hmm. And um, it was one of the things that, that led me to go on to the missions field. It was yeah. the, 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 the reason why I, I wanted to just, just go wherever God was, was because um, his presence made me feel so free. And, um, and I couldn't, I, <clears throat> I, just, I just felt such freedom there. So, um, sorry, my voice is kind of going <laughs> as I'm speaking. Yeah. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> and it's really something that I really value and, um, and even even now, um, as I went uh, out recently, I <laughs> I, um, I I I was just having a really tough time and uh, just uh, just uh, just being stressed with uh, um, just lots of things, uh, work, having to get things for, for Ulrich. Um, our boy eats a lot, so he was constantly <laughs> going out to the shop and and trying to buy food because um, he's just a, an eating machine. <laughs> And I was like, I just sometimes feel, even when I get up in the mornings and try to spend time with God, it's just snatched away. Um, uh, when he wakes up, it's like all the attention has to go on him. And, uh, and I was just, I was just trying to think about God and trying to just focus on him as I was going out to the shop. And, um, and as I, as I was just allowing the spirit to touch me i felt like this freedom um and this peace that just overwhelming peace as i was just um realizing just to let go and allow him to be the center and as i was as i was feeling that all that all that stress and all the the uh, aggravation that i felt was just forgotten in, uh, and I and I actually forgot what I was frustrated about, what <laughs> the anger that I was feeling, and uh, and it just kind of let go as I as I was just enjoying the peace of God. So for me, I I'm constantly um, motivated by the peace of God, which transforms my understanding and and guards and and guards guards me um, and and helps me, and so. I love the peace of God and uh, and yeah. Uh, what about you? Um, I forgot a question now. What, sorry. <laughs> what, 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 what motivates you? All oh, right. Uh, uh, to sorry. do God's will. What motivates me to do God's will? Um, I knew the answer. What was it again? <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just so yeah yeah thinking about what he said that um um uh, well <laughs> Jesus help me. I think it was it was mostly like you know um, some people do it for rewards some people do God's will because mm. of yeah yeah <laughs> some people do it um, to not go to hell uh, to you know go to heaven and um, <sighs> for me it, what I realized over the years was um, that I this is not my life anymore you know I I had an encounter with the Lord. When I was, oh uh, well, I, I when I got saved, it was my first encounter a lot. But there was what this this one story I barely told anyone about. But I was suffering from depression for like a year and a half, and even after I came to the Lord, uh, which was like what six months after I was depressed, I was still depressed for a while, 
and I was just like, oh, I just want to end my life. I don't want to live anymore, you know. And I was just having all kind of suicidal thoughts and everything, despite having given my life to Jesus. And and God really set me free from that by showing me this dream where I was, um, there was a girl standing on the ledge of uh, in front of my apartment that I was living in back then in Singapore. And there was this girl standing on the ledge and uh, of, uh, yeah, uh, basically about to jump off. And there's this little girl, she's like eight, ten year old. And I was like, what are you doing? Get off the ledge, you're going to fall off. You know, she's like, come with me, you know, hold, hold my, you know. So I was like, you know what, I don't want to live anymore. So I, I got up the ledge and I held her in. And she's like, okay, we'll count to three and we'll jump together. I was like, oh, all right, fine, whatever. And where I was staying was in the ninth floor. So I was like, you know, fine, you know, like, yeah, if I'm going to end my life by myself, you know. And we count one, two, three, and I jump, and we jumped. And I turn around, and as I'm falling, I turn around, she disappeared. And it was just me jumping in, in the dream, by the way. And I was just falling. And I hit the ground, and it was a huge impact. But I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel like, you know, nothing was hurt. I didn't die. And I'm like, and I thought in the dream, I thought, oh, I must be bleeding internally really badly, you know. And, and I went back up, took the lift and went back up to my house and called the ambulance and say, I, I, I need an ambulance right now. And they're like, what's your emergency? And I'm like, oh, I jumped off the building on my ninth floor and I'm still alive. I think I must be really damaged, like internally or anything. And they're like, uh, stop joking. We don't have time for jokers and you know, don't have time for liars and stuff. And they hung up. And I was like, what's going on? What happened? Well, why am I still alive? Why am I not badly hurt or anything? And when I woke up from the dream, I was like, what? why did I dream that? It was so weird. And I just felt a lot tell me that he's given me new life. And from that day on, from that moment on, I was like, that's it. I'm living this life. My old life is gone. This life is God's life. God has given me this new life. I'm going to do whatever it is to serve the Lord. And so that's my motivation till today to just serve the Lord because he's given me a new life. He, this new life that I've had since 2009, when this happened. Yeah, since 2009, this new life and uh, is all his. And whatever it is that needs to happen, whatever that it is, is what I'm motivated to do his will. I'm motivated for his kingdom to come because he's given me this life uh, to move forth. I'm just his servant and that's my motivation for to serve him because it's not my life anymore. This is his life. I'm just doing his job. That's how I see it as. So yeah, I want to do as much as I can to for his kingdom to come. I don't want to do the wrong things. I want to only want to do what he tells me to do and what I hear him to do and not do anything of my own accord in any way as well because I want to make sure that it's what God has asked me to do and because this is this is his life, basically. So yeah, that's yeah. my sharing right here. So yeah, the, the second question is, what is your key to get into God's presence? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> um, so I, I think, um, uh, again, um, I've been very regimented in the past and I've, uh, I've always followed a structure. I followed um, Stephen's um, way uh, and, and structure and um, it served me until a point where um, I, I, I couldn't, uh, up until this point where I, I was I was practicing these steps, but um, I just felt it was not really, um, I couldn't get into the God's presence as, as, as quickly as I could. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was asking the Lord one day, I was just like, God, I really want a way. I, I, I don't know what's my key, you know, what, what is my um, way to get into your presence? And he just told me love. And, and as I thought about it, and as I've, uh, thought about it more it's not about the love that I can give him uh, it is it is partially but it's more based on what on the love that he has for me and my love in return is as a result of his love that he's shown me on the cross and every time I think about it what he's done for me I'm just in tears I'm just constantly and I'm there in God's presence and I feel the the arm of God around me and I feel in his presence and it's like fire and I feel it so so I powerfully, feel it right now. <laughs> and it's like, uh, and I feel it in, in. I feel like I'm in His fire right now, <laughs> even as I'm talking about His love, because His love is what consumes me and it and motivates me. Uh, I think we talked about motivations. That's the second motivation that I find. <laughs> um, but it, for me, it's always about His love and what He's done for me, and mm -hmm. it always brings me to tears to yeah. know what He's done. So um, yeah, that's my key. Um, 
How about you, Sassi? My yeah. key is uh, similar, but it was more on um, humility. I always see myself as the sinner at the bottom of the steps who knows very well that I don't deserve. I was, I was someone who don't deserve God's love and second chance and he's given me this life and just turned my life around and changed so much and I know I don't deserve it. I know it's nothing that I've done or nothing I'll ever do that would make up for it and that's what always I'm feeling going in right now. That's always the key. <laughs> I just think about it that I don't deserve and I'm just a child that wants to go and see her father in the throne room and just want to sit on his lap and just play and spend time and just rest with him all the time. <laughs> and that's what gets me in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, even, I'm, I'm not even like, yeah, just thinking about it or just talking about it just gets me, you know, gets, gets me, it gets, this brings his presence like wrapping around me and it's, and that's, that's my key to get into the Lord's presence, just to keep it short. But yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And, and thirdly, thirdly, what are three ways or things that you, you can do to calm yourself down or, or lift your spirits when you're having a tough time? I honestly, um, I find that worship is, is, is a big yeah. thing. Um, when when I when I get lost in, in worship, um, that helps me a lot. Um, a lot of the times, you know, you I'm you know I'm in work and uh, there's there's things that um, that really uh, frustrate me and annoy me, and uh, and sometimes I go and I just have to have a, a time out and just um, just go out and just either worship or or prayer. Um, with, and I and I and I do find that I'm transported, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I, I believe that those are two uh, things um, that really help me um, when I'm when I'm going through tough times. Yeah. Uh, worship is 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 always uh, something for me that really helps to lift my spirit and and um, take my just just focus on Jesus, just focus on. On the fact that he's with me and he's never left me nor forsaken yeah. me. Um, yeah. Um, and what about you? Uh, for me, what was the question? Uh, oh, things. that tough time. Um, oh gosh, especially with Ulrich looking after him and like stuff is just things just can just get to me. You know, get to after an exhausting day or sleepless night and. Uh, yeah, two things that really help me is one, worship, listening to worship songs and just singing worship songs and just, you know, really lift me up and boost my spirits in that sense. Uh, uh, and secondly, it's just going to the toilet door, locking the door. It's the only place I can, like, not be interrupted. <laughs> just going yeah. there and just talking to my Heavenly Father and just, like, you know, vent out whatever frustration or anything and just, uh, yeah, or even, like, sort of go have a shower and just cry yeah that's usually like crying and pouring out to him and everything and I just and I just feel as the water is coming down I just feel like my sorrows and my worries and my you know whatever that was upsetting me is all washed away you know it's like cleaned uh physically and spiritually <laughs> uh so that really helps um to kind of boost me up yeah when I'm feeling like when I need a perk in that sense so yeah that really helps yeah, um, and the third thing I, I, I just um, I, uh, also is when I just go out for uh, walks uh, on oh, my yeah. own, um, I can just be myself with Jesus um, yeah. and spend that time um, and it's just uh, very organic and it's very natural. So um, I love that time with, uh, with, with God. And um, so, yeah, this is just, uh, we just wanted to share this briefly with you and we, we hope um, that you have an amazing 2022 yeah. in uh, doing what God has called you to do yes. and that you're, you will uh, seek him even more this year uh, as we, and, and we want that for ourselves. We, want, we just want to uh, do his will and his call for our lives because we just want to stick close to his Holy Spirit. So uh, yeah, bless you all and we love you all and much love from all of us. Lots of love. Bye. Bye. Bye.